How did doorstop diaries make you feel? Um, I think the doorstop diaries project made me feel very valued as a person in our community. I think, um, especially for senior women, I think oftentimes you feel that people are not interested in you or they don't care about your opinions or, you know, you have really have no voice. So I think the project made me feel like people did care about what I had to say and did value my experiences. What was something you took away from Doorstop Diaries that you're excited to use going forward in the future? Um, well, I think all of the skills that we learned, first of all, through all the different workshops, um, you know, we learned about, uh, that was one of the great parts about it. It wasn't just one medium that we investigated. Each month it was a different medium. So you learned a lot of different skills and could kind of decide or think about which one suited you. And so I think, you know, all of those things. Um, and now I have gone on to do something else with, you know, one of the sets of skills that I learned about collage. So, you know, that's very exciting. And um, I think the other thing that it did really remind me about was that being creative is very important to me. And it's, a way that I can express myself um, and, and that's important. And I think, you know, I'd forgotten about that. So um, I think going forward, I will, you know, I'm reminded of, of the importance of being a creative person. Definitely. Do you feel as if you could help others like your friends or family or neighbors do some of the same things that you learned like collaging or comics or even like using zoom for example do you feel confident that you would be able to teach someone these skills um yes i i do feel confident about doing that you know maybe some of the skills more than others and um you know i have already shared some of my knowledge and some of the things that I learned with some of my friends who um, you know say they've got kids and I talk to them about the comics and you know making a small little um, comic book and you know the Zen Tangle that was something new to me that I'd never heard of before and so I've shown some of my friends and some of my family you know the Zen Tangles and told them about it and, you know, what it's all about. And, you know, I do feel confident with some of the things that for sure I could uh, share them and, and teach them to others. Yes. And I think, you know, in that way, it kind of spreads the project to more people. You know, it's one way of, of you know, creating a bigger impact with the project by spreading it to others, you know. Were there any obstacles that you faced but ultimately overcame towards the end of the program? Um, I think some of the obstacles at the beginning was just kind of, you know, like I said, I hadn't really done a lot of um, sort of painting or collage or things like that before, especially in my home. And so I was a bit disorganized you know didn't really have the space set up properly and and also I think you know just reminding myself or being um kind of having some time management to say you know at this time or this day you know you should sit down and do something you know even if um you know you don't exactly have the idea it's I felt like it was important in a way to have a routine so in the beginning, you know, there was a lot of obstacles just being disorganized, not having the materials set up, you know, those kind of things. But, um, 
you know, by the end, like now, I've set up a little space and try to get more organized. Um, and so I feel it's a lot easier now that I can, you know, go forward and, and do more things. Um, I didn't really have obstacles with the technical things, although I did, I did learn a few extra things with Zoom and things like that. But um, those weren't really great obstacles. How has Doorstop Diaries affected your feelings of connection or isolation? Um, I think it's affected me in the sense that I feel more connected to my community because a lot of the participants, although I didn't actually meet them in person, but I know a lot of them live in and around my neighborhood. Um, and so, and we shared a lot of things together, like I say, even though we didn't meet just by looking at, you know, the postings online, you know, we used, you know, Facebook as um, a platform to share our work and also the swapping of the diaries, you know, then you got to see other people's work. So I think that made me feel very connected to those people and a lot of the works were very personal. So you felt like you got to know people, even though um, you, you, you know, you didn't actually meet them in person. You felt like you knew them. So I felt very connected to those people and um, also to you and, you know, everyone who was involved in the project. So, um, you know, I think it helped a lot um, during the last six months with not feeling isolated and also gave a kind of focus of something to do you know, and to be creative. And I, I didn't personally really do much work created to, you know, what was been going on over the last couple of years, but a lot of the people did. And so I think, um, you know, it helped people to connect and, you know, communicate their feelings. So it was really, really good in that way. Why is public art important? Um, hmm, I was thinking about this. Why is it important? I think it's important um, really because it adds another dimension to our lives that, um, you know, we, we might not have otherwise. And I think art allows us really to communicate with one another in ways that, you know, just in a different way. You know, so rather than just talking to one another or connecting, art allows us to communicate with each other. And I think, you know, sometimes through um, that kind of um, medium, you can reach more people and, and, you know, put more messages across. So I think it's very, very important that we have that.